with Parsons at the wheel. And look, this is the old oh, race cam, and that car starting to slip slide very badly. It's sideways coming out of there, almost got the tail on the wall. I bet she doesn't go another lap. No, if it looks simple at home, when we take outside shots of the cars, it really gives you a whole new dimension when we take uh, the race cam to show you how hard the driver's working behind the wheel just to try and keep that car straight. Just look at the way this is wobbling around, coming up on the BMW M3. Absolutely no heroics over this part of the racetrack. Seaton's game, isn't he? I hope he doesn't overdo it. That was the 41 car with Juan Manuel Fangio behind the wheel, and uh, Seaton now coming up on the Nissan Gazelle, giving it the go by very short order. This is the worry, this corner here. Because you've got to really get in tight. Now, coming out, there's not much room. You don't want to get the tail out there. Out of Toledo turn. The number 15, Peter Jackson, Nissan. BP race cam, that's the shot. Very murky. Persistent rain. Although that one big... Oh, uh, he's got it gee. sideways. Oh, Had to fight for that to get it back on the road. Very dramatic pictures coming to you. At Dangerous England. moments here. Neil Crompton is in the pits, standing by for what will be a spate of pit stops for uh, wet weather rubber. Although the only thing I must say... It's starting to clear again. It's starting to clear, so whether or not the, the smart ones will stay out. Not only that, it's different on two parts of the circuit. Over the top of the mountain, it's wet. On this part of the circuit, as you can see, looking at the picture now, it's relatively dry. Yeah, Seaton's hardly has, a spot of rain. Yeah, Seaton's going round again and uh, just waved, indicated to his pits there as he went by. He'll want to stay out there and so one or two other people to make quite sure that it either is going to rain or it isn't going to rain because if you go in the pits and you change onto wets, they do not last very long on a dry road or half went half dry come to that you can see the track heading up mount panorama to that point anyway was uh, reasonably dry from here on in though glenn taking it very cautiously through here that's sideways now if he's having problem with the turbo nissan you can imagine the strife that steve soper is having with wheel spin in the sierra every time they change gear Oh, goodness. Oh, I used to drive a go-kart. He's as safe as the Bank of England. Well, I hope you're right. He's a, one of the good old boys from karting, Gwen. I hope, hope you're right for Gibson's sake. Oh, don't prove me wrong, Gwen. Oh, Gwen. Now, you can see the dilemma. Does he go into the pits and he'll have to put wet sock he's going to wind up with a bigger problem he's going to be out of tires then given another 10 laps because the track will be dry well if you look at the screen the rain has stopped now he switched the wiper off so obviously there's not so much rain on the top of the mountain so i would say that they'll all stay on dry tires probably for the time being this must be really giving our european drivers a thrill <laughs> well of course they're, they're a bit more used to this sort of weather than, uh, than perhaps you are yeah Sopa quite enjoys the rain he quite enjoys the rain. Let's just watch his car control and compare how that car handles with the very tough ride we saw Seaton having. 